guys, how's it going? So today I've partnered with Bumble Brain Box again, and this is the review video. If you haven't already seen the Bumble Brain Box unboxing video, I have a link down below in my description. I really urge you to watch that first if you haven't already seen it, because otherwise you're going to be kind of lost about what I'm talking about today. But in today's review, I am going to go through each of the card activities and tell you how both of my girls, Carly, who is two and a half, and McKinley, who is 14 months, how they responded to each of the activities. And then at the end of the review, I'm going to give you my general thoughts and feelings about the box, and then I will give you guys a code to use if you want to try out this box for yourself. So the first activity is physical, and it's using the quill. And it says, trace letters and numbers into your baby's hand with the bottom of the quill softly to help promote early letter and number recognition. Have your toddler blow the feather to strengthen the facial muscles that are used for speech. Then practice the pincer grasp by having your child hold the quill as he or she would a pencil. Next, dip the bottom of the quill in paint and create parrots to match the pirate theme. And this is Carly actually playing with the quill. She's tracing the letters of her name, and I think she really liked this. Here in a little bit, you'll see her take the quill away from my hand, and she'll do it herself. I really think she liked this. She got a lot from it. McKinley was not fond of this activity at all. <laughs> I would put the quill in her hand and she would quickly take her hand away. She wasn't interested in trying to write or draw or anything like that. I think this is more for kids like Carly's age. Carly, as you saw, was more interested and McKinley just was not. The next activity is auditory and this is gone fishing and it involves the ring of fish. And it says, ask your toddler to close his or her eyes or blindfold your toddler and ask him or her to move toward the sound as you rattle the ring of fish. Then review the colors of the fish in English and Spanish as well as count the fish out loud. Ask your child where is the orange fish. Have him or her point to the right one and repeat with the other colors. I'm going to be really honest. I didn't do the blindfolding part with either of my girls. <laughs> I knew the girls weren't going to have fun with it. I knew they would think it was just weird and take it right off. And I, I just knew that it was not going to be fun for them. So instead, we just practiced with the colors. We would go through the fish's colors. And this one's red. This one's orange. That's what we would do. And both of my girls really liked that. They really liked playing with the fish and doing the colors. Although, you know, McKinley didn't really say the colors. Carly did. But she still had fun, like, holding them and playing with them. So this was a fun activity as well. I liked this one. The next one is emotional, and this is the treasure box, and it involves the coins. And it says, allow your child to hold a coin. Then hand your child a toy in exchange for the coin. Pass the toy and money back and forth a few times. This helps introduce the concept of sharing and exchange. Next, use the bumble brain box and the coins to create a treasure box to help discipline your child by creating a system for rewards. Good behavior earns coins and bad behavior leads to loss of coins. Tie in a prize when your child reaches a certain number of coins. All we did was do the exchange part because the other part I just didn't think was necessary, so I didn't do it. But I did do the exchange of coin and toy, especially with the girls because they're learning to share. So if one of the girls wanted a coin, they had to exchange it for a toy. So I really liked the activity as far as the um, learning to share part, but for other uses for the coins, there really wasn't many. <laughs> and McKinley was more interested in chewing the coins, so that was a problem. But uh, it, was, it wasn't a bad activity. I liked this one. The next activity is Pirate Phonics, and this is social, and this involves the Pirate Mask and Sign Language card. It says, wear the Pirate Mask and use the Sign Language card to begin teaching your child the ABCs. Help your child sign each letter with his or her hands. Then as you practice each letter, also practice the sound of each letter and say pirate-themed words that start with that letter. For example, T for treasure. This is an activity that neither of my girls liked, and I didn't really like it as well. They weren't interested in learning sign language. They weren't interested in trying to do the letters with their hands. They weren't interested in any of that. The only thing they were interested in was the mask itself. <laughs> so it was basically like a dress-up thing. They just wore the mask, and that was about it. But it took me forever to get Carly to actually wear the mask. I have a clip. I'll show you. Carly is not wanting to wear the mask at all. You don't want to wear it? No. No? Well, okay then. So, I mean, 
it was okay. It was all right. I, I didn't necessarily hate the activity. I just don't think that we got much out of it. And as for the last activity, I contacted the company and she told me that there was a little bit of a mix up with her toddler boxes and she apologized for it and she gave me the correct card. So this is the card for that. And this one is cognitive and it uses the pirate boat. And you take the boat and you tie a little piece of string and then you make numbers and letters with the tape and you follow the boat with a piece of string around numbers and letters. And this is another one that my girls didn't really use at all. McKinley was more interested in eating the boat and playing with it with her other toys and Carly was just more interested in the quill and wanting to trace the numbers and the letters that I drew with the uh, tape with the quill instead of following it with the boat. But so far our experience with this activity hasn't been like the best. <laughs> so overall in general I liked this box. I may not like every single activity but the items inside of the box can be used for other things. You don't have to use it with the cards that it comes with. Like you can play with it with your other toys. You can get creative and use it on your own. So I actually like the box. I like that each box is themed and each box is different. And my girls had fun with it even though they didn't really use most of the items the way that it was supposed to be used. They still had fun with it, especially with the quill, the mask, and the fish. The girls loved those items specifically. But because they liked this box and they had fun with it, I kind of like it myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to try Bumble Brain Box for yourself, I have a code down below in my description bar for you guys to use. I will also have their links down below so you can check them out also. And I will see you guys tomorrow at a new pregnancy vlog. Bye.